So initially, of course, when I had heard about the whale, I was so confused because I knew it was a story about a 400 pound man or something, but I didn't know if it was supposed to be thrilling or like scary or like just weird or some type of heartfelt film. I was, I had no idea. I didn't realize either at the time that it was like already a play. I thought it was based off of like someone's life, you know, like true events or something, but it was actually just based off of a screenplay by the guy that wrote the screenplay for this film. So it's so awesome that it's kind of stayed in house, you know, Samuel D. Hunter, he's the original creator of the, the screenplay for the play and then he redid the screenplay for the film and then director darren aronofsky congratulations to making such a fantastic and beautiful film now granted that this is an a24 film that's why i was so intrigued and confused as to what exactly this film was going to be about is it a biopic is it a slice of life is it a like a what if tale or is it just based on true events or some guy's actual life had no idea but all i did know is that our boy brendan fraser got a standing ovation for like six minutes or something at the film festival when this film was debuted and that is all that i needed to know in order for me to watch this film. I mean, I fucking love Brendan Fraser. And I'm so glad that he's back. I know that he had a rough patch in his career, in his life. But I'm just so glad that he's back with us now. And I am just thrilled that he's getting, you know, getting roles, getting gigs, getting parts. And that I feel maybe he is one of the truest left actors of our generation. It's just, it's amazing that he was able to pull this put this performance together and given the backstory of this character that he's playing it's just so wild that he was able to do it you know and it just, i can't believe that there's a lot of these people fucking giving him hate and shit uh matt walsh went ahead and did a segment on it right here it says, film director darren aronofsky is defending his choice to cast actor brendan fraser to play an obese gay man in the golden globe nominated drama the whale the movie tells the story of charlie a middle-aged man who gains weight following the death of his boyfriend and works on repairing the relationships with his estranged daughter. It received critical acclaim, but one common reaction in the Hollywood community was to question whether Frazier was the best choice for the role, given that he's not actually gay or obese. Aron Aronofsky said he was surprised by the reaction, but still stands behind his decision. He said, the film director said, actors have been using makeup since the beginning of acting. That's one of their tools. And the lengths we went to portray the realism of the makeup has never been done before. One of my first calls after casting Brendan was to my makeup artist, I asked him, can we do something that realistic because it's going to look like a joke? If it's going to look like a joke, then we shouldn't do it. I thought, like, are they actually going to be able to get away with this? I have no issue with it. It sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, put, take Brendan Fraser uh, and put him in, like, in the fat suit and try to pull off an actual dramatic performance. Sounds interesting to me. Can, are, can, are, can you get away with this now? Are you allowed to even do this? Because he's not actually morbidly obese. So they put him in the fat suit. And then I didn't even realize this until I just read the article. But apparently he's portraying a, a gay man. And he's not gay. So not only do you have the appropriation claim, but then also is it, it's, uh, is it, is it body shaming? You know, Because if you're going to have a dramatic story about a morbidly obese person, a lot of the drama is going to be grounded in the fact that it's not good to be morbidly obese. I would think that that's how it's portrayed. It's not, it's not going to be portrayed. Like he's not going to be dancing to Lizzo songs the whole, the whole film. Okay. But it's just, I can't believe that people would give him that much shit just because he's not a gay overweight man. It doesn't really make any sense. I mean, he should be able to act how he would like to act for the characters given. You don't have to be, that's the whole point of acting. You don't have to be relatable to these characters really at all. The whole point is, can you act and portray emotions necessary to fit the character and the movie? And he, Brendan Fraser did that amazingly as the character Charlie, who is a 400 pound gay man who, is the reason he is 400 pounds, why he gained so much weight is because he lost the love of his life, who was this man. Uh, and then, you know, that pretty much was the catalyst to him, in a sense, ruining his life. Uh, though I guess some would say that his life was ruined when he met this love of his life because he had a family. He had a wife and a daughter in the movie, right? Um, and Sadie Sink, uh, y'all remember her from Stranger Things. She plays his estranged daughter. And I will say she's a redhead. And in this, she's like a brunette. And I I think Sadie, you should just stay a just just stay a redhead. They just keep them alive. Let them let the world know they exist. <laughs> but she plays the daughter, and man, she is such a bitch. It is so her character is just flat out 
raunch like it's just so cringeworthy the but i mean given the circumstances of what had happened i completely understand i mean what would you do when your father aban- abandons you and your mom for another man you know and doesn't call or be or want or come around or anything you know doesn't show his face like it's and and i understand that the mom had to make some decisions and and you know hold the father, uh, you know, hold, keep the daughter away from such a disgusting man. But still, you know, that it's, it just shows how messed up families can be. And I do feel like some of the, the, the moral in, you know, decisions and stuff that was made in the film were very questionable. Like, you know, the, like I said, Charlie leaving his wife and daughter for this man and not even wanting anything to do with them. I mean, that's some, that's some pretty sad shit. And the fact that he does gain all this weight, it's like, bro, like you, like you're, I, it's like it's sad but it's i mean i guess some people go through that they go through that depression and that state where they just can't get over whatever it is that you know hit them and this was a, his love's suicide um this one lady huang chow who is uh one of the the key or the standout performances obviously in my opinion of as liz who is his like caretaker slash best friend slash brother of the boyfriend that committed to you know his boyfriend that committed suicide and and uh, her character is just amazing. Just showing how she enables, you know, his weight gain, the main character Charlie's weight gain, to how she is there for him, though, at the same time being his support, his crutch. It's just, it is, her character is the best. Like, we can all aspire to be that friend and we can all aspire to be that caring of an individual where you literally are impe- you're impeding them the you know them from getting well because you're also enabling their his ha- you know the the bad habit of overeating and shit it's just wild the cast is so small it's it's just it's a very beautiful film i mean it's an a24 film so of course like you know the 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 way that the fat suit looks and the way Brendan Fraser looks in the fat suit is grotesque, but it's amazing. It's just really well done, detailed, directed. I mean, it's just, it is a very heartfelt movie. It's just, you know, given the context, it's a lot to handle. You know, the wife having to deal with her husband leaving her for a man. I'm pretty sure that was devastating. I mean, any woman being left for a man or a man being having his wife, if you're left, by your if your significant other leaves you for the same sex it's like that's that's rough because the opposite sex just means that they found someone better but when it's the same sex it's just i mean there's it just cuts that much deeper you know um and uh of course the other character in this ty simpkins he plays thomas who's this guy uh, this kid that's a traveling missionary and he ends up running crossing paths with brendan fraser's character and tries to use god to help him get better and you end up finding out through revelations of brendan fraser's character and liz huang chow's character that in fact god did play a part in the the loss of life from the love of his life and it's just there's a lot of crazy revelations and implications that come with religion and you know gender ideologies as we would obviously have to put it nowadays because like i said people are getting mad at brendan fraser for playing a fat gay man when he's not fat or gay but it's like there's literally people out there that are like no it's okay to be gay which is fine there's nothing wrong with being being gay but it's also okay to be morbidly obese which is you know in my opinion is really not you know so if you want to be both and you want to act as both there's no reason you need to be one or the other at least the overweight part jesus um but it is a really beautiful film it is really well done brendan fraser congratulations i would definitely say standing ovation i mean the film brought me to tears at the end the last that last scene was just so well it was just like fuck yeah like you're just rooting for him the whole way um so i would definitely employ all of you to see it if you're any one of a fan of brendan fraser to just watch it and just you know to uh, uh, see how truly great of an actor this man is you know like he's been through hell and back and in this character that he plays is literally living in hell and he just gives it his all and it's it's beautiful it's 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 truly amazing i'm so glad to have watched it be a uh, part of the audience there's what small audience there was definitely would suggest you guys check it out the whale it's in theaters now i think for a limited time but it'll probably be streaming on some platform by the time you know uh the new year hits uh but i don't expect it doing great crazy numbers but hey brandon fraser if you're listening to this thank you so much i can't wait to see what you're in next keep it up keep it up and uh yeah thanks for tuning in so you can go to the craig like share and subscribe and i will catch you guys on the flip side peace